Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we had a discussion on Code Blocks IDE. We also discussed various components of Code Blocks user interface. We discussed Title Bar, Menu Bar, Toolbars section, Management Panel, Start Page, Logs Panel, as well as Status Bar. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to set up a new project in code blocks or how to create a new project in code blocks IDE. I suggest you people to create a new project whenever you want to create any C or C++ application. Creating a project help us to get more benefits out of the code blocks software. To create a new project, first of all, I need to launch the code blocks IDE. To launch the code blocks IDE, I double click on code block shortcut available on desktop. You can see that the code blocks IDE got launched. To create a new project, we can click on create a new project text here. If I click on it, we get a window with the name new from template. I close it or to create a new project, we can go to file, say new, click on project. We get a window with the name new from template. There are three steps we need to follow to create a new project. Select a wizard type first on the left. Here we have different wizard types. As I want to create a new project, I click on projects. Then it is asking select a specific wizard from the main window. Here we have different wizards which guide us how to create some project. If I want to create a console application, this wizard will guide me how to create a console application. If I want to create a DirectX project, this wizard will guide me how to create a DirectX project. Understanding? In code blocks, we can create different types of projects. We can create ARM project, we can create AVR project, we can create an MT project, we can create a GLUT project, we can create a GLFW project, we can create MATLAB project, we can create OpenGL project, we can create SFML project, we can create Win32 GUI project, we can create shared libraries, etc. Okay? As I want to create a new console application, as I want to explain you C programming language, the beginning point is the console application, understanding how to create console application. So I click on the console application, then I click on go. You can see that we got one more window with the name console application. This is going to guide me how to create a new console application. It is telling me welcome to the new console application wizard. This wizard will guide you to create a new console application. When you are ready to proceed, please click next. I am ready. I click on next. Then it is telling, please select the language you want to use. I want to use C language, so I click on C. Then I click on next. Then it is telling, please select the folder where you want the new project to be created as well as its title. What it is telling? It is telling, please select the folder where you want the new project to be created. Here you can see that we have folder to create project in text box. This is a place I need to mention the folder where the new project should be placed. First of all, I click on this button. I click on desktop. I want to make a new folder on the desktop. So I click on make new folder button. Here I give a name all C projects. I click on OK. You can see that we have a path properly set up now. All C projects folder is going to be created at the desktop. Okay. And then I have to give the title of the project. So here I give hello world. And below you can see the project file name is going to be hello world.cbp. CBP stands for code blocks project. Code blocks projects are going to have file extension dot CBP. And this code block project is going to be placed inside a new folder called as hello world which is going to be created in all C projects folder. You can see here hello world.cbp is going to be placed inside the hello world folder and the hello world folder is going to be created inside all C projects folder. I click on next then it is telling me please select the compiler to use. Already GNU GCC compiler is selected let it be. If you want some other compiler you can select from this list. Okay. I want the GNU GCC compiler only and then it is telling which configurations you want enabled in your project. I want all the configurations should be enabled. What happens if 
debug configuration is enabled. What actually code blocks does is it creates two folders in the hello world folder. It creates one bin folder and it creates one obj folder. Within the bin folder, it creates a debug folder. Within the obj folder, it creates one debug folder. Within this bin debug folder, what actually the code block does is when we build and run our project, it is going to put the output in this folder. Output means the executable file. The executable file is going to be placed inside the debug folder. And the object files are going to be placed inside the debug folder of the obj. Let me click on finish. You can see here in the management panel in the projects tab, hello world code blocks project is open and it is showing sources folder there. Within the sources folder, it has created one file called as main.c. .c is the file extension for any C program file. If I double click on main.c, you can see that code block has already written some code inside the main.c so that it want to make our life easy. That's it. We need not to type this code. Okay. I minimize the code blocks. You can see that the code blocks has created all C projects folder at the desktop. If I open it, we have a hello world folder. If I open the hello world folder, it has two files. One file is a main.c file, which is the main C source file. And it has CVP file that is a code blocks project file. We can open this inside the code blocks at any time if we want. Okay. And then we can build and run this project. To build and run this project, I need to click on this build and run button. Or I can go to build and click on build and run option. Here we have F9 shortcut key. What happens when I say build and run? When I say build and run, the project is going to be built. And we get the output on the screen. We get uh, the console visible on the screen. And in the projects, that is the hello world folder, we get uh, two new folders, B9 OBJ folders. If I say build and run, you can see that the console is visible. Within the console, it is displaying hello world exclamation mark. This hello world exclamation mark is the content available in the printf function. So printf function is actually printing the hello world exclamation mark in the console window and it has some information process return 0 execution time 0 0.039 seconds press any key to continue and also you can see the path the title is the code blocks is executing the hello world.exe file which is available in the debug folder and the debug folder is available in the bin folder the bin folder is available in the hello world folder and hello world folder is present inside all C projects folder. All C projects folder is available at the desktop, right? And uh, I hit the enter key. You can see that the console is closed and at the bottom it is showing process terminated with the status zero. I discuss about process terminated with the status zero means what? Because uh, status zero indicates that the code has executed successfully without any errors. Otherwise we get uh, the status one process terminated with the status one means we have some error in the middle. Okay. I minimize the code blocks. You can see that in the hello world folder, we have two new folders available b9 obj. If I open the obj folder, we have debug folder. If I open the debug folder inside that we have main.o file. O is a file extension for object files. It depends upon the compiler. Sometimes it will be O or OBJ. It depends upon the compiler. So here main.o is the object file of the main.c. We know that object files are going to contain the machine code, right? And uh, in the bin folder, we have a debug folder. If I open the debug folder, we have hello world application. This is an exe file, an executable file. Executable file means it is a self executable file. If I double click on it, it will run same like code blocks. If I double click on it, you can see that the console got visible and went away. If I double click on it, the console is not getting stopped. I can't see the output in the console, right? To pause the console or to make the console to wait, what we can do is we can write some code. Here, I am going to write the code get care get care is a function it waits for a keyboard input okay now i say build and run 
when i say build and run you can see we are getting the output hello world displayed we don't see press any key the text we get the text once we press the key because now the get care function is getting executed get care is waiting for the keyboard input if i hit enter key now we can see process return 0 execution time 17.436 seconds press any key to continue i hit enter the console is closed right i minimize the code blocks this time when i double click on hello world you can see that the console is waiting for the keyboard input right it is displaying hello world and it is waiting for the keyboard input if i hit enter key console will get closed i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we set up a new project and um, how do we build and run what happens in every step right what actually the code blocks does for us i can zoom the content so that you people can see the content clearly by holding the control key and uh, i roll the middle mouse button you can see that right i think uh, this is okay properly visible to you right so for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to create yourself new project and run the project and see what happens in the folder in the next video tutorial we discuss more on c programming language for this video tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial